How do we overcome victimhood and reclaim our power from all of our life circumstances? There's a saying that I'll never forget that one of my mentors told me once is that there's a very subtle difference between pain and suffering. I remember when he first told me this, it was at a time in my life when I was feeling really bad about my circumstances. I was around in the time that my son was born and it was being a father for the first time, supporting my wife who was a mother for the first time and being the sole breadwinner in my family. And I was in a position in life where I just felt down on myself, despite all the blessings that I had in my life at that moment. And he said, there's a difference between pain and suffering. And the difference is, is that pain is inevitable, but suffering is a choice. Pain is inevitable, but suffering is a choice. Wow. It hit me like a ton of bricks when I first heard it, because what it told me was is that pain is inevitable. It's going to happen in life. It's going to be a part of my life experience as a human. Every single one of us walking on this planet experiences pain. We experience hardship and challenge at some point in time. That's universal. Sometimes we experience more pain and more challenge and hardship than other times, but every single one of us feels it. None of us are immune to pain. None of us are immune or able to avoid challenge in difficult times. But suffering, suffering is an entirely different beast. Suffering is what we make of the circumstances that we're given. I can choose to suffer if I also choose to be a victim. And when I choose to be a victim, essentially what I'm doing is I'm giving my power away back to the circumstances. I'm giving my authority to determine my experience of this now moment to someone or something else, thus making me a victim. Victims in criminals speak are, are powerless people. Victims are the people that we talk about on the nightly news, that we have compassion and sympathy for because they were perpetrated upon by some sort of criminal act. We talk about victims because they were innocent, innocent victims who didn't have any, any power over their circumstances or their situation. But when we're talking about manhood and masculinity, we talk a lot about responsibility. We talk a lot about taking ownership for the circumstances in my life and how if I take responsibility for every single thing that I'm going through, then not only does that make me the problem, but it also enables me to be the solution. You see, if I start externalizing problems and I start blaming and putting responsibility on everyone and everything else around me, it makes it so that I'm not actually responsible for it, but I also don't have the power to do something about it. If I'm in a financial hole because of my wife's crazy spending, or if I don't have any time in my life because my kids keep me so busy, then I'm powerless to do anything about it. But if I take responsibility for my financial situation, if I take responsibility for my time, my energy, my efforts, then I have the solution and I am the power. So think about how this applies to your life because we've all done it. We've all made ourselves out to be the victim of our circumstances. We've all wanted to give up responsibility for our situation so that we didn't actually have to do anything about it so that we could just live and feed upon the sympathy and compassion we get from other people who feel bad about our circumstances. But is that the power that you want to inhabit? Being able to garner sympathy from people? Or would you rather have the power to do something about your situation so that the sympathy and the compassion you would get from people is actually inconsequential? Because your destiny is now up to you. I don't know about you, but that's how I choose to live my life. And that's not to say that I never go into a victim mindset because I totally do. I could probably think of three times in the past week where that's actually happened to me. I'm just like you, man. I'm not immune to a victim mindset. But when I catch myself creating a victim story, giving away my power to someone or something else, choosing suffering as opposed to just embracing and accepting the pain and moving forward, when I catch myself in that, I can do something about it. I can redirect my energy and my attention to something else and something different. So think about this right now. Where in your life are you creating a victim story where you're giving all your power away, all the responsibility in your circumstance to someone or something else? And now, how can you pivot that and say, this is all my doing? Regardless of the situation, even if it's somebody that rear-ended you this morning on your way to work, how can you accept responsibility for that? And then in turn, how can you be the solution to your own problem? 
All right, y'all, if you're enjoying what we are creating here with the Rising Man movement, especially here on the Rising Man YouTube channel, then be sure to go over to risingman.org to find out how you can become a bigger part of the Rising Man movement, including signing up for our next virtual men's fire circle. And if you like what you're watching, then make sure you hit that subscribe button down here so you get the notifications every time we drop a new video. Enjoy your week. Catch you next time.